Well, what we have here is an engine that is locked up tighter than a bark on a hickory tree. Uh, basically, the customer brought me a commercial Sutec lawnmower, which is in basically a walk behind 33 inch machine. Uh, the engine's locked up. Uh, we're going to do a failure analysis on this Briggs and Stratton engine. Once you remove the engine from the uh, from the machine, uh, you'll see that it's held together with you know sump bolts or oil pan bolts. Uh, we'll remove all these bolts. I'm going to use your trusty, handy dandy impact 3/8 drive wrench. Make quick work of that. Should have charged the battery up. Mm, that one was finger tight. I've got the sump off, and let's see, the rod's not broken, but it goes about 90 degrees and locks. I mean, tight. You can't turn it no further than that, and you turn it the other way, and it locks. Something has got it in a bind. We'll see what it, we'll go, we'll just dig a little deeper. Well, I didn't notice it. When I took the engine off the first time, it wasn't that noticeable, but uh, this is not a mechanical failure. This is what we call trailer trauma. Whenever these commercial guys are pushing these machines on the trailer, they don't strap them down and they move. Well, I popped a hole in the back of it back here. I'll show you here uh, why it was locked up. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the back of this engine, it was actually pushed in. And it, the synchro balance was hitting it and it couldn't spin over so it actually hit it just enough a fraction of an inch to where it was locking the motor up uh, the hole in it <laughs> I put it in there while I go with my pry bar I was trying to pry it back out but uh, yeah anyway the engine was trash uh, anyway so non-mechanical failure I hope I can get one in here that's been scattered but uh, yeah anyway wrench on